This is the best Italian supermarket in Los Angeles, and I'm gonna show you around. It's called Italy. It is in the Westfield Century City Shopping Mall, and the main entrance is off the third floor right from the parking garage. You can also get in from the second floor through an ice cream and kind of gelato and bakery shop. I'll show you that in just a moment. If you come in that way, you gotta walk up a flight of stairs to get in here. But Italy is a supermarket chain from Italy, in fact, uh, and their okay, notable on. contribution to food is like everything is made fresh here. This place smells super delicious. They've got fresh made Italian sandwiches. Over here in the center, they've got Roman style pizza, which means you get these kind of like long pizzas, these square pieces, about eight bucks a slice will get you one of those pieces of pizza. So this place, in addition to groceries, there's also a lot of food to eat from these quick serve places and also restaurants. The produce section, they kind of make with these little like awnings on top of it to make it look like a old school Italian supermarket. But pedestrian things like oranges, fancy stuff like passion fruit for $15 a pound. What this supermarket isn't is this supermarket is not cheap. Uh, we've got white truffles, medium white truffles, large white truffles, fresh winter truffles, handmade mozzarella, mozzarella you can see that they've made in-house right here, $14 for the burrata cheese. Uh, over here on the right we've got the seafood counter where they've got lots of fresh seafood looking at you, including these langosteens, little neck clams, big prawns, uh, all looks pretty tasty. Live lobsters as well in this case. The meat counter, oh, looks quite delicious. And they got, um, you know, Italian cuts of meat like porchetta that they made right here in Italy. They've also got some Wagyu uh, Japanese New York strip and uh, some chopped veal and lamb. Interesting, you don't see that all that often. It's an Italian supermarket, so it wouldn't be complete without a wine section, and they have a big one. Uh, if we go back this way, this is the entrance to Terra, one of their restaurants up that staircase that way. They've got mulled wine for the holidays, where you can get a glass of this hot wine for $10. Restrooms in the back, high-end wine this way. The One of the restaurants is back here where you can see the kitchen in the center, the eating areas around the sides. Uh, they have a really neat outside dining area, so if you can get a seat in the outdoor patio, that's the pretty cool place to sit, but all the spots are pretty sweet. Uh, and this is the like central check-in counter for a couple of these restaurants. They'll often be doing samples of wine, drinks, and food out in front of that restaurant check-in counter. By the way, on this ground floor, it's Capri and La Pizza and La Pasta. They have the fresh-made pasta counter, uh, so you can get these fresh-made pastas and take some home also by weight. Here is the cheese and salumi monger. Uh, so they've got the cheeses and then they've got the meats in the back. If you want to get some guanciale, which is cured pork cheek, that is uh, what makes a lot of Italian pasta tastes like they do, you can get that here that you don't find in many other food places. They have, you know, your traditional supermarket aisles, except do you want some really huge jumbo pasta shells? Here's my hand next to it so you can see how big those pasta shells are. Uh, the eating areas of those restaurants out here on the side, Santa Monica Boulevard, just down there. Most of these aisles are pasta, um, but you know, you never know what kind of pasta you want, like aisles and aisles of pasta. Do you want your lasagna pasta? Do you want your tagliolini? Do you want your black squid ink pasta? Uh, you got it, all the different options here. And of course, there's gonna be a big aisle of sauces. This is like two sides of sauce, pesto sauce, tomato sauce. Uh, some of this pasta, these are like ravioli, so these need to be refrigerated. Over here, uh, we've got uh, more pasta sauces. These are the ones they make in-house, so if you want to pick up their ragus or things like that that they make here, you'll find it in the center. And then this is a 
another food place. This is their roasted meats and small bites. So they got like macaroni and cheese. They've got like some lasagna over here. They've got some sandwiches. They've got the cooked uh, porchetta. Uh, you've got like chicken. Anyway, it all looks really good. Doesn't look like it's dry or sitting out and then you can just kind of like eat it right out here. This brings us back to the Roman pizza place. Take a look at that again for some morsels of pizza deliciousness. Uh, over here is the line to the checkouts. Clearly a busy day at Italy. And uh, if you like uh, pastries, who doesn't like pastries? Uh, then the spot for those is right here. It says life is too short not to eat and drink well, but these are all really delicious pastries. Big raspberry tarts, $42 for this raspberry tart. Uh, smaller ones are available as well. This little tort here, uh, $9 for the peach and almond tort. We've got some uh, other good things that look delicious. I'll probably come back and get one or two of these before I head out on my way home. And uh, I just wanna drop down to the ground floor to show you what we've got down there. This is if you were coming in from the second floor of the mall. It's the spiral staircase that I told you about, which I never love spiral staircases. Like I always wanna walk on the outside, but then people who walk up wanna walk on the outside. I think they just, they did what they had with the space so they could get uh, like frontage on the second floor to get people in. Uh, but down here we have Lavaza coffee shop, which also has a few pastries over there. And we have a uh, gelato place that also most notably sells, well, let me, let me look and see if they sell this before I say this. What they used to sell was they used to sell cannolis down here. Uh, but I think at this point, it looks like it's just ice cream. All right, well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of LA Century City, check this video out right here. If you wanna see more of my LA travel guides, you'll find them right here. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.